Jesus didn't send four. He sent one divine person, the Holy Ghost in the earth. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Not too long ago, the Holy Ghost said to me, Holy if they Ghost knew me as God, God the they would worship me. But the problem is they don't know him as God. Because if they knew him, the Holy Ghost, as God, they would worship him. Especially if they knew he was in the earth and he's the one doing everything, they would worship him. He's God. Well, anyway, the Holy Ghost is God. Mm -hmm. And he's as much God as the Father or Jesus is. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. And therefore, he's deserving of our worship. If we were to stop there, that should be enough. So if we worship the Holy Ghost, we are worshiping God. So 1 Peter chapter 3, and let's look at verse 15. But sanctify the Lord God in your heart. Now, I'm going, I am going to get into this later on in, in later messages. I won't touch on it too much here. But when you go, sanctify the Lord God in your heart, who would that have to be? The Holy Ghost. He's the one that's in you. He comes, he's the one who comes into the temple of God, which is you. So sanctify the Lord God, the Holy Ghost in your hearts. And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. You should have an answer for any man that asks you. Now, you can't give an answer to people that don't ask you, can you? No. But you could give an answer if they ask you. Yes. And this message is for those of you who worship the Holy Ghost to give you an answer to those who may ask you why you worship the Holy Ghost well number one we've already crossed that bridge he's God the Bible specifically says to worship God we found out that he is God therefore we worship him but there are other reasons so for those of you who do worship the Holy Ghost this will give you answers for those who don't worship the Holy Ghost this should give you a reason to start if you'll listen oh I hope you heard that if you'll listen with the ears of your spirit you will have a reason to start worshiping the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is God he is a divine person that speaks he says things he speaks things and he's a divine person he's an actual person with a personality that says things well if he's God why aren't you worshiping him using the words I worship you Holy Ghost or worshiping the Holy Ghost is foreign in most circles it should not be if he is God we should worship him let's look at reason number two why we worship the Holy Ghost now I can't make anybody else worship God the more the merrier I wish they would but you can't make them reason number two why we worship the Holy Ghost because he's the one that Jesus sent who is the Holy Ghost who is God right we, under, we have that settled he is God Jesus sent him into the earth to be with you sent who the Holy Ghost are you getting this why do we worship him because he's the one Jesus sent glory be to God Matthew chapter 3 let's look at verse 11 I indeed bat this is John the Baptist talking I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance but he that comes after me is mightier than I whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire I indeed baptize you with water under repentance that's what John's mission was his mission was to baptize people under repentance why so they'd be ready for Jesus you understand it prepare, prepare the way of the Lord make his path straight remember that yes. that's what John the Baptist mission was did he do it yes and then one day Jesus came along and he even baptized Jesus we'll probably read that in a second so John fulfilled his purpose his mission was to prepare the way for Jesus now look at this he says I indeed baptize you with water under repentance but he that comes after me now is John the Baptist a prophet Jesus said John the Baptist was the greatest of all the prophets you remember that yes. so what is he he's what he's saying here must be pretty accurate 
he that comes after me is mightier than I whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost so John the Baptist said this is my mission this is what I'm here to do is to get people ready for the one coming after by baptizing in repentance which he fulfilled then he said Jesus's mission would be to baptize people in the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. are you here so what was Jesus's mission to baptize people in the Holy Ghost that's why he came here a lot of people won't won't understand that yet I hope I'll be able to develop that a little bit but that's why he came it wasn't so you could die and go to heaven it was so that your sins could be forgiven you could be born again you could be a brand new spirit because he won't come on someone who hasn't been forgiven of sins you understand cleaned up he comes he's the Holy Ghost he's not the corrupt ghost he has to go into a holy temple therefore Jesus had to remove sin so Jesus's whole mission was to get people so that they could be baptized in the Holy Ghost he this is his mission shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost so his mission was to get people ready to receive the Holy Ghost through his death burial and resurrection he prepared people and then the Holy Ghost could come on them let's go to John chapter 16 let's we'll see if Jesus actually did this verse 4 but these things have I told you that when the time shall come you re may remember them that I told you of them and these things I said not unto you at the beginning because I was with you you see what's going on here mm -hmm. Jesus is about ready to go away and he said I didn't tell you these things at the beginning say at the beginning so he's telling him not at the beginning he's telling them at the end before he goes away he said these things not unto them at the beginning because I was with you but now I go my way to him that sent me and none of you asks me whither goest thou verse 16 but because I have said these things unto you sorrow has filled your heart verse 7 nevertheless I tell you the truth it is expedient for you that I go away say expedient. expedient you know what that means profitable it's profitable if Jesus goes away now going away means to be somewhere like he was with them and then not being with them anymore do you understand yeah. that's going away for Jesus to go away he would have to not be with them anymore but because uh, verse 7 nevertheless I tell you the truth it's profitable for you that I go away for if I go not away the comforter will not come unto you but if I depart I will send him unto you say send him so you have to you don't send something to someone if you're there you send them something from somewhere else so here we see Jesus is saying it's profitable if you I go away and send something to you are you here profitable expedient for you that I go away if I go not away the comforter will not come unto you but if I depart I will send him say him him unto you so this comforter is going to be a person a him so Jesus is gonna go away to the Father and he's gonna send from the Father someone mm -hmm. I'll send him unto you and when he is come he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they believe not on me of righteousness because I go to my father you see me no more of judgment because the prince of this world is judged I have many yet things to say to you but you cannot bear them now but when he say he, he. he's gonna give him a name now he the spirit of truth we know who that is right he's the Holy Ghost he's the one that Jesus sent he is God we know that and Jesus is about to send him where's he gonna send him to you he will guide you into all the truth is the Holy Ghost a divine person yes 
is he the one that Jesus sent yes. yes John 14 let's look at verse 16 I will pray the Father and he shall give you what well, now if he's praying if he's with the Father when he's gonna do this I will pray the Father and he shall give you another say another another, another comforter that he may abide with you forever even the spirit of truth mm -hmm. so who's the another that Jesus sent spirit. the spirit of truth is he a he yeah. yes and he's God if he goes away he'll send us so did Jesus fulfill his purpose did he go away did he pay for the sins of the world right mm -hmm. and then he went away and then did he send another yes who was the another the Holy Ghost so did Jesus do his part yes in, in fact in John 19 30 you don't have to turn there it says it is finished Jesus finished his part now let's go to Acts chapter 1 and we'll see Jesus raised from the dead Acts chapter 1 let me read right from verse 1 the former treaties have I made O Theophilus of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up say until the day until the day in which he was taken up after that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen an interesting note here is even when Jesus was raised from the dead how did he give up commandments to the Apostles via the Holy Ghost to whom he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God verse 4 and being assembled together with them that's Jesus commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem but wait for the promise of the Father which you have heard of me why because this was what Jesus came here to fulfill yes to pay for your sins but so that you could receive the promise of the Father and he's still preaching it for John truly baptized with water but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence here's picture this here's Jesus raised from the dead still preaching the baptism of the Holy Ghost that you're gonna receive the Spirit of God but you verse 8 shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come on you who the Holy Ghost so he wasn't on him yet but he's gonna come on you mm -hmm. verse 9 and when he had spoken these things while they beheld he Jesus was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight who was taken up Jesus actual physical raised from the dead Jesus was taken up into a cloud and out of their sight meaning they couldn't see him anymore and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel which also said you men of Galilee why stand you gazing up into heaven this same Jesus very important this same Jesus which was taken up from you into heaven shall come in shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven and I always ask this question has that happened yet no, no. so where is Jesus now physical Jesus he's still in heaven because he had to go there and then send someone else this was the end of Jesus's dispensation now he's sending someone else are you here yes. and he said to wait wait for it wait for it wait for it go to Acts chapter 2 and verse 1 and when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled the house where they were sitting and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire and it sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost so let me ask you a question when Jesus said if I don't go away I won't send another but if I do go away I'll send another did he do that yes. did he go away yes. yes did he send in another yes. yes who's his name the Holy Ghost right and here we see it the Holy Ghost came into the earth on the day of Pentecost when they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues they began it didn't mean they stopped they began to speak with other tongues as the Holy Ghost 
gave them utterance so it looks like Jesus did his part he didn't lie when he went to the father to seat on the right hand of the father he sent someone who did he send the Holy Ghost is the Holy Ghost God yes why do we worship the Holy Ghost because he's the one Jesus sent Jesus started this you understand mm -hmm. Acts chapter 2 33 therefore being by the right hand of God exalted and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost he hath shed forth this which you now see and hear that's a fulfill Peter was prophet we're just telling people that this is what they saw and heard this was the fulfillment of what Jesus said he was going to do mm -hmm. Jesus did his part he has not returned yet my point's pretty simple why do we worship him well number one he's God number two he's the one Jesus sent to be with us said he would be with us forever yeah. right yes. the Holy Ghost he's God he was sent meaning he's here he's in the earth with us now Hebrews chapter 12 let's look at verse 2 looking unto Jesus the author and finisher of our faith like I said who started this who said he was gonna send another who said Jesus did who said he's gonna send someone that he would be with you forever he will do this he will do that he will teach you all things he is the spirit of truth right yeah. he will speak all these things Jesus said it looking unto Jesus the author and finisher of our faith they our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God now is is this did I read that straight out of your Bible yes where does it say that Jesus is it says and is what does is mean was is now. no he is he is say he is. he is and Jesus is set down at the right hand of the throne of God we know he sent the Holy Ghost where is he now he is set down and he will return remember like the angel said we all know that and he hasn't done it yet so where are we now where's Jesus now Jesus is in heaven at the Father's right hand where's the Holy Ghost who's God he's in the earth he's the one Jesus sent worshiping him doesn't irritate Jesus worshiping him is a fulfillment of what Jesus expected you to do when he sends God into the earth That's right. Amen. and yet people aren't doing it and they wonder why things aren't working out he's the spirit of truth the Holy Ghost worship begins with Jesus leaving we understand that because he had to send him the another the Holy Ghost is here he is the one Jesus sent I'm just trying to wrap this up you understand the Holy Ghost is the one Jesus sent right he is God he's a divine person who speaks Jesus sent him he sent him in here he speaks to us he's a divine person he is God mm -hmm. he is in the earth he's God in the earth today he's the one leading and guiding directing the church it's his dispensation in fact he's the only part of the Godhead who's in the earth today who's in the earth the Holy Ghost how'd he get here Jesus sent him right yes. do we have scriptural reasons why we worship the Holy Ghost yes we do number one he's God he's a divine person that speaks number two he's the one G say the one. the one Jesus didn't send four he sent one divine person the Holy Ghost in the earth and he did come and he is with us right now say this Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I, worship I worship you I thank you, I thank that, you, you that you are God and that you are you with are. me right now, right now. teaching me oh, helping me empowering me today. in Jesus name Holy Ghost, Amen.